We're now to Western Canada, where nearly 1,500 firefighters are battling dozens of wildfires. The flames are now moving into heavily forested areas where they could feed on dry timber for months. Nearly 90,000 people have had to flee their homes, some with little to no warning. That includes this little girl, who is now living in a shelter with her family. It looked like um, the place would be all burned, and I'm scared if my house would be burned down, my room, my stuff. My clothes, and I'm scared if my school we will be burnt too. Let's get the latest from CNN's Paul Vicamon in Alberta's capital, Edmonton. Uh, Paul, large parts of the town of Fort McMurray no longer exist. How quickly is this fire moving now? They say that it finally slowed just a bit. I'm standing in slightly cooler temperatures today, although the wind is still gusting and the fire moving away from Fort McMurray, and that is good news. As you pointed out earlier, Linda, it is burning in these, we'll call them pine forests, with huge trees, and it's burning toward the Saskatchewan border. They thought it might make it to Saskatchewan today, but it has not quite. As we said, it has slowed just a little. Nevertheless, just a tough time for firefighters. They have been jackhammered with fatigue and all of the hard work. And there's been a lot of praise for the work that they're doing on the fire lines on multiple fires here in Alberta. Let's listen. I've met more heroes in this experience than I've ever thought existed. Sorry. It's okay, Adam. It's okay. Our community has more firefighters and more emergency responders, police, everybody that have given up their own homes that are safe, their own families that are waiting for them to come up in the middle of this beast to help protect my home. They're heroes to me. And on those firefighters, they've been at it around the clock. As one person put it, they've really been driving it. And they need to get off the lines. And some relief will be on the way later on this week from both Quebec and New Brunswick. Some Ontario firefighters are already here. They need all the help they can get because this is indeed one monster of a fire, Linda. And how are emergency services coping with the thousands of people that are now displaced? Mm. Well, one of the strategies is taking place right behind me, and once in a while you might see somebody wheel their gear or be holding a brand new pillow. They spread them out throughout Alberta. One of the focuses, though, right here in Edmonton at this Expo Center, thousands spending the night here on cots. They're giving them food. They're giving them new linens when they can. Uh, they are seeking creature comforts of all things in a new pillow. When you have nothing, a pillow can be a pretty big deal. As far as addressing what kids need, and I had spoken to that little girl that uh, you highlighted earlier before you came to me. She had told me that she appreciated everything they were doing for her. Uh, they actually had some musicians playing not a short time ago. Uh, they put on little shows and concerts for them. Anything to try to allay these, these people's poor, jangled nerves, Linda. Yeah, and they will be in that uh, state for quite some time. Paul Vicamon, uh, thanks very much for bringing us that update.